Hi, I'm Barb. Welcome to my craft studio. It's Mary Vlogmas Day 13. Um, today I thought I would, I kind of forgot I had this box of Christmas tags, so I thought we'd open it up and see what's in there. The box is a file from Carol's Cook It Crafts, if you belong to her Facebook group. The file's in there somewhere. I'm not sure what she calls it, and it, it's in a post. I suppose you could just search Carol box, and maybe it would pop there probably be several different boxes but maybe you could find this one as well i made it a few years ago it's actually starting to fall apart a little bit now i probably didn't use glue it well enough that might have been before i discovered art glitter glue and the scotch i might have just did it with um like a tape runner when i think wet glue would work better this actually is a new tag i did share it in a project video i did I have multiples of that one. Most of them I have more than one of. This is actually one that was given to me in... I ought to just put it on my tree. I ought to just hang it up on my tree and maybe I will do that. It was given to me by somebody. It's like a little card. This one I made... It wasn't this year. I know that. I don't know. It might have been two years ago. I think it was one when I did the... Participated in the Christmas in July thing um i can't think of what it's called but it's where youtubers all get together and do a video and why that name escapes me i don't know but i did that one i did this one here which this one is really simple but it is very pretty and i used my silver pen to do the two from so which kind of worked with the snowflake theme This one, I think, is a Dreaming Tree freebie. I think it's one of the early, early freebies they had. If you ever want to check out free SVGs and you want to try them before you know you invest money in it, Dreaming Tree has a ton of freebies. And I think once you try their files, you'll really like them. And he's so willing to help if you have issues. Not only with their files, but with other people's files. Um, this, this is another one, Dreaming Tree. I think this one and this one were part of the same freebie file. I think the file made both. This is one I did a few years ago. Um, it's the 12 Days of Christmas washi that I got at um, Michael's a few years ago, and I just wrapped it around the tag. It does repeat, but... And then I just put put in my true love sent to me. I think I had my um cricket right there. Who's this one? I'm not positive, but I think this may have been another dreaming tree one. I think the snowflake one was a um cricket. It might probably it might be an access file. This is the design that I got in one of the Cricut groups I belong to. I'm not sure which one. He uses design space access images, I think. So and the rest of them are all that particular one. I like to have an assortment of tags on hand. And most of these I have at least one of them on my tree just because I like to keep this one mainly handmade stuff since it's in my craft studio. I figure that kind of fits the theme of the room. <laughs> Anyways, that's really all I've got to share. I'm hoping to get in here and not only do my um, December daily for yesterday, because so far I've been doing pretty good at keeping track. A few days I didn't do it, but then the next day I did two days, so I've stayed. I haven't fallen way behind. <laughs> The furthest I was behind was when I started because I started late. But since I've started, I haven't. But I haven't had more than two days to do in any given day. So I did go down. I've started my baking, and I probably will do a discussion on some of that. Um, I'm trying to think what else I've got on my agenda today. Got dinner going in the crock pot already, so that helps. 
but I'm trying to do my December daily today and then I was hoping maybe to work on a few other projects. I have some cards. Where's my box? I have some ornaments in here. I don't know if I'm going to do any more ornaments or not, but I had grabbed a bunch when I was working on my um, 2020 ornament. I should try to personalize, uh, not personalize, but DIY, I guess. Them. I bought them a few years ago in the um, Target Bullseye Playground for a buck. I should try to decorate them in some way. I just, I, I'm just drawing a blank on what to do. But I have, I have two bins like this with different. This one is mainly cards. Now I'm not going to do all of these this year, obviously, but I want to pick out one like for my daughters and whatever. I might try to I might try to do a few of them. This one will probably be a fairly simple one. I really need to just like leave the Christmassy ones out and maybe try to do one or two a month. Same with the bigger projects. Pretty soon I want to get started on kind of winter themed if I have any. Um, but that's all I really got to share today for Vlogmas. I wanted to share my tags. Do you make your own Christmas tags or you just buy them? I do have an assortment of some, which I could share those too, I guess, real quick. They're over here in my December daily setup. I think most of these I picked up at either the Bullseye Playground or Dollar Tree. They're meant to be Christmas tags, but honestly, I've been using them as embellishments in either my scrapbook or my December daily or, you know, anything of that nature. I think I might have even used a few on cards. Honestly, it's not a bad thing to do check now this one's a little heavier this one I could actually hang on my tree because it's it's wooden but but I have worked these into projects before this is more of that believe one this one's not really a tag it's just what I got it, it was my scrap rack and it must have fallen out when I was getting other things out these are just some simple Tanks. These ones I'm pretty sure came from Dollar Tree. Looks like an ornament. Bunch of snowflakes. I think they might have been in the same pack, all these glittery ones. These ones I've already shown. The poinsettia. I mean, they're so pretty that they just, they work well in as an embellishment. Oops, there's two different ones there. There's the snowman. There's Santa. This one's not a tag. I'm not sure how he ended up in there. I probably pulled them out for something and then didn't use them. Then didn't use them. Because I tend to do, I tend to pull out several. Those ones I've already shown. And then this is the last one, the little sleigh. But like I said, um, they are tags. They say two from on the back. But I use them as embellishments. They're they're cheaper than the embellishments that you buy in the um, craft stores. And some of them are just as cute or even cuter than some of the ones that you buy in the scrap stores. But that's all I've got to share today. I want to thank you for joining me. I'll catch you next time.